Welcome back to Technically Designed Home. Today I wanted to start a little mini series where I talk about ideas of what to do with different smart home sensors. These can be applicable to any type of smart assistant setup you have. These can also be controlled by the manufacturer's apps, but I'm specifically looking at how you can use them to automate your other smart home tech, such as your lights or your switches. So don't forget to subscribe below for more smart home tech videos. And let's jump into the video where we talk about temperature sensors and humidity sensors. So as you know from my previous Move Me series, I am a renter. So a lot of the ideas I have for the temperature and humidity sensors may not be something that I can do in an apartment because I don't have the ability to change out my HVAC system and change my thermostat to a smart home one. But if I did, here are some ideas of what I would use these types of sensors for. Let's start off with an actually renter friendly one, and that is the ability to control a fan. If you have a fan that has a manual on off switch and you leave it in the on mode and plugged in using a smart switch, you are able to control the fan powering on and off based on the temperature in the room where the temperature sensor is. This automation can be quickly put together where, with an if type logic, where if the temperature reaches 80 degrees per se, the fan will power on. Then if the temperature is 75 degrees, the fan will turn off. You could do a similar thing with a space heater, a, a dehumidifier or a humidifier if you're using a humidity sensor in the same way. If you have your temperature sensor mounted, or humidity sensor for that matter, outdoors somewhere, whether that's on your patio or just on the outside of a window somewhere, you could use this to notify you every morning or maybe every night of what the outside temperature is before you leave the house. That way it's accurate to exactly where you are and you're not relying on some weather channel app, though those are usually close enough. If you have the ability to control ceiling lights using a smart switch on the wall, one idea you could do is similar to what I described with the fan in a smart plug, but in this case, based on temperature cues, you turn on and off the ceiling fan. This could be great while you're sleeping and not wanting to turn a fan on and off manually by walking across the room, but maybe you need some little, a little bit more temperature control while you're trying to get snugly in bed. This could also be accomplished by using a smart ceiling fan. These are available online and some of them are you're even able to be directly controlled by your smart assistant. So that way you don't have to change the outlet on the wall, but you install an entirely smart fan. Whatever is easiest for you. If you're someone who maybe has a baby monitoring system or is just generally temperature or humidity sensitive for some reason, whether that's medical or otherwise, Another way you could use a humidity and or temperature sensor in a room is by using it to trigger lights or alerts in some way. That way, if the temperature reaches a certain threshold, either too warm or too cold, it can notify you on your phone or even trigger some lights in another room to notify you that something needs to be done in that area. This could be a good idea actually in maybe under a bathroom cabinet where there's a risk of freezing in the winter, where your pipes might burst if it gets too cold. You could easily snuggle a temperature sensor back in the cabinet or in the wall area there, where it could notify you if it gets too cold and maybe you need to open the cabinets to keep the warm air in and keep the pipes safe. And of course, the most obvious solution to use a temperature and or humidity sensor for is controlling an HVAC system. If you're able to upgrade to a smart thermostat such as the Nest thermostat or the Ecobee thermostat, you can use these temperature and humidity sensors as remote sensors for monitoring the temperature throughout your home. Typically, a thermostat is only able to monitor the temperature in the area around the thermostat. So placing these in remote rooms around your house allows you to keep a pulse on the temperature throughout the entire home instead of just that one area. This allows you to maybe control everything at a more even pace. Though be careful to not put it in the coldest or hottest room in the house because it may force your system to run more often than it needs to to heat or cool the rest of your house. 
The final idea I had for your temperature sensor is the ability to control smart blinds. Now, I understand this would require a much larger investment of changing out your blinds throughout your home as well. It's something I think would be super handy because I hate opening and closing blinds. I would kind of live in a cave a little bit <laughs> when I'm not here in front of all these lights. Um, but again, using automation to trigger based on the temperature in the room or even just the time of day, turning your shades up or down and opening and closing them to control the light that is let into the room. That way at noon, or maybe when the sun is directly at that window, you have the, the shades turned up and closed. But if it's later in the day or it's a shady or rainy day, you can have them down so you can see outside better. So I hope you enjoyed these ideas of what to do with temperature and humidity sensors. I am continuing to upgrade my smart home and figure out ways to apply these types of sensors as both a renter and a homeowner. So I hope you join me back next week as we cover the next type of sensors, which in this case is motion sensors, and I'm gonna tie in vibration sensors as well. So I hope to see you then, and don't forget to subscribe below for more smart home tech videos, and like this video if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next week. Have a good one, guys.